Hi, I'm Jennifer Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio and I'm just going to do this quick little video for you to show you how to install or what we call transfer foils. Um, foils are actually just a metalization on the back of clear plastic and this is actually one of the foils that I'm going to demonstrate with. They come in full-size rolls which are approximately 25 inches long and they also are available in partial rolls. Um, so just to get started, um, where we're going to be working with an adhesive, uh, we're going to use my product called APS Foil Adhesive. Uh, you have to have um, an adhesive that's strong enough to actually pull the metalization off of the back of the foil. And this product is working really great. All you have to do is I poured some of it out into a tray so I could load my roller. And I like using uh, the Rooster Low Nap Roller and just roll this onto the surface. You don't want it too heavy, you don't want it dripping, it should just be a nice, light, even roll. You do want to make sure that you have 100% coverage because if there is no adhesive, there will be no transfer whatsoever. Um, once you have applied the adhesive to the surface, you need to let this sit for at least 30 to 45 minutes. Um, You've got to at least let tack to a firm tack, and from there you can go in and transfer. Now, I could leave this up here for hours and it would be fine. Um, it doesn't have a window of from, you have to transfer like from 30 minutes until four hours and it'll quit being tacky. It will stay tacky for basically ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one, and I've already rolled another board up that is actually sat overnight. So this one will be ready to go. Okay, with the foil, um, on the outside of the roll is the side that you are looking for. So this is the bright silver that you're gonna see once you transfer it. And the biggest secret with these foils is make sure that when you're getting ready to transfer, that that pretty side is facing you. If you get this stuck into the adhesive um, backwards, it can actually deactivate the adhesive or actually remove some of it. And I've cut my sheet a little bit bigger than the size of the sample board. And I'm just going to smooth it on. Like using a rag to start with, this is just a terry rag, to just smooth it on, trying to not get as as few air bubbles as possible, but if you do get an air bubble, you basically can just remove the foil, let it burp the air bubbles out, and then just put it right back. Now, as you can see, I actually did get a pretty good transfer with just rubbing, and I like to start this way just to see how much transfer I can get. And when I talk about it being a clear plastic backing, you can start to see through here um, and see that it is just clear plastic. Now if I want a stronger transfer or trying to get more of a 100% transfer, um, I like using these stiff bristled scrub brushes. And I'm just going to go ahead and scrub straight down. Um, this is another little tip. If you want to keep um, less movement in your application, you want to stay into a vertical motion. If I actually did like circular motion, we might see that circular motion transfer through um, underneath when we're done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and scrub this completely on. And then again, check and see if I'm happy. And if there's some place that I've missed or there was an air bubble that it didn't transfer, if you peek under each side separately, then you can determine if you're happy with it before you remove it. And that's it, that is a bright silver uh, foil transfer. And that's really how easy it is. Thanks for watching.